Hi everyone, before we get started with our side hustle project, we're going to build a digital notebook using Adobe Portfolio. So let's head over to portfolio.adobe.com. And when it's all done and completed, it's going to look like this. This is going to be how we submit all of our work, discussions, assets, projects for this course. So we'll put everything onto this notebook and then we'll submit that link in FSO. So let's head back to Adobe. First, we want to edit your sites. Then we want to add a new site. We want to select our theme. Let's use a theme with a left menu for a notebook purpose. It's really easy to navigate. So let's select rows and then we will use this theme. First thing we want to do is update the name of our site and add a description. Now we want to add our sub pages and let's click pages on the left menu. And this is where each project will live. Before adding those pages, let's make sure the work page is identified as home. So we'll click the drop down arrow, hit edit title, and we will call it home. Hit enter and it'll say changes saved. Then we want to change the URL. So we click on edit collection URL, make sure we type in home, enter, changes saved. Now we can start to add our sub pages. To do that, we click the blue plus button. And since we have a collections page as our home, all we need to do is add a page for our first project title. We want to make sure that the destination is under home collections. And we'll see that icon right there. And then just create page. You'll notice that it lives here. And when you're all done, it will look like this. Once we have all our sub pages created, we can edit the name of our site by clicking on settings. We'll default to the domain name, and then we just want to edit the site subdomain. Here I have media entrepreneurship. You can call it um, anything you want, your name, whatever that might be. Even if you already have the name of your business, go ahead and write that in and then click done. All right, so that's creating our digital notebook. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in class.